Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of the most anticipated manga releases for the month of June. A lot of interesting titles, but of course we always choose the number one volume releases, any box set editions or reprints, stuff like that that is highly anticipated. With that out of the way, let's get started with the first one. Free-spirited Yuri Hasegawa and straight-laced Keiichiro Katsuragi have fallen in love, but his elite political family, which has produced a long line of prime ministers, does not allow male descendants to engage in any sexual relations until they are 18. Can the physically affectionate Yuri and rule-abiding Keiichiro keep their relationship strictly chaste? Yuri and Keiichiro have gotten to know each other on their daily commute to their respective high schools. Yuri makes a passionate love confession to Keiichiro and he feels the same. As a new couple, Yuri rushes in to kiss her new boyfriend. But you can find out when Let's Do It Already releases this June, volume one of a very popular shoujo rom-com series. This had a really warm reception when it was first announced in the licensing tweets and all that stuff. So I am anticipating that a lot of people are going to pick this up. This is a nine volume series that ran for 45 chapters back in May of 2020 up until November of 2022. Art and story, of course, by Aki Kuzaka. Are you interested in Let's Do It Already? Let me know in the comment section. Chidori High is a boys school that takes in the dregs of society with the lowest grades. Next door stands Kikyo Girls High, where the wealthy high-class families send their precious daughters. Chidori's second year, Rintaro, who has a fierce face but a gentle heart, is helping at his family's patisserie when he meets a girl named Kaoruko. The two hit it off right away, but this blissful peace is quickly disturbed when Rintaro discovers that Kaoruko is actually a student at Kikyo. Worse, she she doesn't seem to realize what a huge problem this really is. Will these two be able to forge a path for themselves and sidestep the traps laid by their classmates? The Fragrant Flower Blooms with Dignity, Volume 1. This is published by Kodansha, story and art by Saka Mikami. This is an ongoing series as of October 2021. It's a shonen drama romance, and I really like the art here. I think it looks fantastic. Are you interested in this one? One. Let me know in the comment section as well. In the town of Hokutocho, a mystical tradition unfolds every few decades. A villager is selected to ascend the mountain to marry one of the alluring fox spirits who resides there. Inaho has longed to take on that role, and when his time finally comes, he eagerly climbs the mountain to meet his new handsome husband, Subaru. The captivating lord has been watching Inaho for quite some time and is pleased to receive his new spouse. But before this supernatural marriage can enter its honeymoon stage, Inaho discovers Subaru is cursed to devour his beloved, aka Inaho. Can they find a way to break the curse, or is this marriage doomed to end in tragedy? You can find out when Marriage to Kitsune-sama releases from Seven Seas Entertainment. This is a story written and drawn by Ken Home Run. Pretty cool pen name. This is a one and done volume. It was published back in 2022. This is a BL fantasy series with a lot of yokai in influences, so I think this is going to be really cool. Ami Sato works for Kobara, a company that specializes in sweets. While she may be good at sales, her confidence in pretty much everything else is low, which is why she hasn't even thought about dating since college. Instead, she fills up her imagination with romantic scenes from shoujo manga. When she meets Alan Gerard, a handsome older Frenchman in charge of a new project she's assigned to work on, she begins to struggle to keep that romantic imagination in check, especially with Elaine being so overly friendly. Ami keeps reminding herself that it's just because he's French, but will she be able to resist his romantic charm? Sweet for Sweets and Foreigners Volume 1 releases this month from Tokyo Pop under the label Love Love, story and art by Mariana Sano. This series ran for 16 chapters back in April 2022 all the way to May of 2023. Collected across two volumes, this is a romance Jose series. 
The ocean covers about 70% of the Earth's surface, a whole world yet unknown to humanity. And in the depths of a nation thousands of meters beneath the waves, there the mermaid's tranquility is shattered when her friend Ryu is locked away for breaking the gravest of undersea laws that humans must never know of the world below. But why would Ryu let the secret slip? And who did she tell? The curtain rises on Joe's adventure to save her friend. A Sinner of the Deep Sea Volume 1 releases this month from Akihito Tomi. This is a Yen Press release. It ran for 20 chapters back in October of 2020 up until February of 2023. This is a fantasy romance seinen series that was collected across three volumes, so it's not a huge commitment on the shelf. And if I do say so myself, the art looks splendid. I like the idea of the underwater kingdoms and all of that, and as you I know I am an unofficial connoisseur when it comes to mermaid manga on this channel. It's kind of a joke. I am so excited to pick this up. This is actually one of my favorite releases of the month. I reincarnated as an evil god, Takuto Ida, after dying from illness at a young age, is reborn into a world just like the strategy simulation game he loved in his past life, Eternal Nations. There, what appears before his eyes is a girl, Ato, whom he had used before in the evil civilization he previously subdued in the game Minogra. The two resolved to create a new nation in this world once more. Apocalypse bringer Minogra, world conquest begins with the civilization of Ruin Volume 1. This is written by Feu Kazuno and art by Yasaigo Midorihana. The seinen isekai adventure fantasy first began publication back in March of 2020 and it is still ongoing. This is licensed by the folks at Yen Press. The earth of the distant future is covered in thick clouds and the sun no longer shines. Plants wither and oxygen is thin. To fight extinction, humankind has developed a technology that turns humans into plants, providing a small amount of oxygen. Is this process sustainable? Is it ethical? Toshiro Kamiya must consider these questions as he's faced with a difficult choice. Save his family or save himself. Kamiya is at the end of his rope, his mother is ill, and his job barely pays for her medication, much less the food. With few options left, he considers the life-changing process of fluoromorphosis. Ready to give up his body for a payday, Kamiya is about to explore the limits of society's waning humanity. Full Night Volume 1 is finally coming out. This is written and drawn by Kazumi Yasuda. This first began publication back in November of 2020 and it is still ongoing. This is a much underrated and beloved modern seinen drama sci-fi. The art looks crisp and the story sounds really intriguing so I definitely want to add this to my collection. What about you? Hana's lifelong dream is to become a tailor and make wonderful clothing for people of all different fantasy races. However, in a world where humans are discriminated against, even getting work as a seamstress is a struggle. When a handsome, mysterious prince offers her a job, it seems like Hana's fortunes might finally be changing for the better. Royal Tailor Clothier to the Crown Volume 1 releases this month thanks to the folks at Seven Seas. This is a story written and drawn by Nakasane Nowaki. This is an ongoing Jose fashion fantasy series that first began publication back in December of 2021. It's pretty cool to have a clothing manga but mixed with fantasy elements. That's an odd mashup and I hope it succeeds. This sounds like a lot of fun. Nekozuka Serina isn't satisfied. Even though she's fashionable, popular, and smart to boot, she's always found herself gnawing at the heels of the cold and condescending public morals officer Tachibana Reiko. With them now in their third year and a scholarship on the line, Serina must finally defeat Reiko and get the highest exam results in their grade. It's easier said than done. That is until Serina snaps a photo of Reiko visiting a love hotel late at night with an unknown woman and hatches 
is a plan. Chasing Speaker Volume 1 drops this month. Story and art by Chihiro Orihi. This is coming to us thanks to the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment, and it is an ongoing GL series that first started publication back in June of 2021. This sounds pretty spicy. I do like the art, so I am interested in reading this to see what develops out of Serina and Reiko. I've come to eat you, so softly utters the mermaid Shiori as she emerges from the sea and takes high school girl Hinako by the hand. Hinako lives alone in a town by the sea and possesses an unusually delicious body that is irresistible to nearby monsters. To ensure that she matures to the best condition, Shiori seeks to protect Hinako, all so that someday she can devour every piece of her. What will become of Hinako's feelings as this looming unjust death closes in on her? This Monster Wants to Eat Me Volume 1 releases this month. Story and art by Sai Naikawa. This is brought to us by the folks at Yen Press. It's an ongoing GL supernatural drama seinen series that first began publication back in August of 2020. And like I mentioned, I am the resident expert on all things mermaid. According to the internet, fellow bonga tubing peers and of course all the loyal viewers out there of this channel. Of course, you can bet that I will be getting this monster wants to eat me. I like the fact that it's a twisted romance that might potentially brew between these two characters with a supernatural edge and the lore of monsters and mermaids. That sounds super exciting. Can't wait to check this out. Reincarnated in another world, Hinako declines the cheat-like powers offered to her and instead takes a vow of sisterhood with the giant Ellis, becoming known as the smallest giant. A prim and proper lady might not have a lot in common with a fearsome titan, but the two share a goal, searching for those who once meant so much to them. However, they must be cautious, for just as their strength wins them fame, it also captures the attention of an ill-mannered paladin. You can find out a little bit more about this when Sister and Giant, a young lady is reborn in another world, comes to us this month thanks to the folks at Yen Press. The story is written and drawn by Beacon. It is an ongoing isekai fantasy action adventure series that first started publication back in October of 2021, so it's going to be pretty cool. I like the art, the contrast between the towns and the cute girls, and then all of a sudden these horrific monsters that are attacking the characters. Really cool stuff. I am eagerly anticipating this one and it may be the underrated one of the month. We'll have to see. I've heard some good things about it, haven't read it before, so I am super excited to check this one out as well. Ayumu Mashiro has given up on his dream of being a hero and settled down into the mundane life of a police officer, until one day he transforms into the legendary villain known as Zero. Now a mysterious voice is guiding him as he's thrown into the battle between good and evil. From Titan Manga comes Villain Actor Volume 1, story by Mikumu Seto and art by Kentaro Harada. This is an ongoing action scene and series that first came out back in July of 2022. And good on Titan for always surprising us with a nice diverse range of titles. No two books are the same when it comes to Titan manga or Titan comics. That's always nice to see. Kanade is an office worker who's unfulfilled in life and keeps the fact that he's gay a secret. Everything changes when he reunites with an old classmate from high school, Mashiro, the boy Kanade secretly liked back in his youth. Mashiro's arrival seems to bring new sunlight to Kanade's dreary life. As they get to know each other again as adults, could this be Kanade's chance to find love with the one who got away? You can find out by picking up Stay By My Side After The Rain, Volume 1. One, brought to us by the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment. This is a story written and drawn by Shoko Rakuta. This is a BL drama series that ran for 13 chapters back in August of 2019 up until October of 2020. Again, 13 chapters collected across two volumes. A young man named Kaina ekes out an existence high atop the canopy that spreads from the titanic orbital spire trees. He and the handful of aging fellow villagers who remain believe they are the last humans in the world. After all, no one could survive amid the great snow sea that blankets the surface below. But they're about to learn how wrong they really are. 
From Vertical Slash Kodansha comes Kaina of the Great Snow Sea, Volume 1. This is a shonen fantasy series based on the anime of the same name, written by Tsutomo Nihei, with art by Itoe Takemoto. Tsutomo Nihei also wrote the anime, which was the original in this case. This series will run for approximately three volumes. It recently just ended this month, so it ran from February 2022 up until June of 2024. The anime was a lot of fun. Art issues aside, it had a wonderful sense of adventure and the ideas of this being like a water world series but with snow instead of water was actually pretty cool. So I am looking forward to seeing the differences between the manga and the anime. Mugi is a big city kid struggling to adjust to life in Okinawa, where he moved with his sister and new brother-in-law. But to his only friend, Matori, he's a bona fide prince. Feeling out of place at home, Mugi runs away to Matori's house and learns about legendary mermaids who will grant you one wish if you can make it to them alive. You can find out when Mermaid Prince hits store shelves thanks to the folks at Vertical slash Kodansha. This story is written and drawn by Kaori Ozaki. Now, something that is worth noting, this is a uh, short story compilation by Kaori Ozaki. This also includes a tale of a young girl trying to navigate the complicated emotions that come with growing apart from friends, and the story, One Snowy Day, a tale of a librarian who encounters an unusual father and son seeking shelter from an unforgiving winter whiteout. These are only six chapters collected across one singular volume. This drama shoujo compilation was published back in April of 2024 and it ran up until October of 2015. I am the mermaid guy, I guess, on YouTube. Uh, I'm kidding, don't take me too seriously. But for real, I am interested in picking this up. I love the whole mermaid lore and I like short story collection. Rockstar wannabe Shindo Shuichi is determined to top the charts with his best friend and their rising band, but Shuichi's ego takes a hit when a handsome romance novelist Eiri Yuki bashes his lyrics. As Shuichi attempts to make Yuki eat his words, he unexpectedly develops a crush on the harsh critic, and the cold and prickly Yuki even seems to like him back. As they continue to gravitate towards each other, Shuichi discovers that success in the music business may cause cost him his very soul. You can find out more when Gravitation Collector's Edition Volume 1 drops this month. This is a large trim 2-in-1 omnibus edition with story and art by Maki Murakami. This is being collected thanks to Seven Seas Entertainment. Gravitation ran back in 1996 to 2002, 54 chapters collected across 12 volumes. So of course this BL comedy drama shoujo series will be collected in six omnibus editions. Did you read the series back in the day? Let me know in the comment section below. Thought for Food. This is the book in which nothing happens, but everything is consumed. Like the walking man at lunch, what do we learn about Mr. Inogashira? He's a sole independent trader importing household and fashion goods from France. He is always busy, but never rushed as he travels around Japan selling his wares. He's a private person. He smokes cigarettes, but never touches alcohol. But above all, he enjoys his food. He is the solitary gourmet. This is the release of the Solitary Gourmet Omnibus Edition in a hardcover format. Story by Masayuki Kazumi and art by the legendary Jiro Taniguchi and collects volumes 1 and 2 in this Omnibus Edition. Also worth noting is that the volume collects all 32 chapters serialized over two decades and includes the special hospital chapter. The Solitary Gourmet released back from June 1994 up until May of 2015. Pretty interesting interesting to have the solitary gourmet omnibus in one package. Third grader Yuki Tachibana lives in two worlds. In one, he is a loner ridiculed by his classmates and reprimanded by his teachers for telling stories of supernatural beings that only he can see. Those supernatural beings vie for power with malevolent spirits who bring chaos into the school, the students' lives, and nature itself. One of Tayo Matsumoto's masterpieces, Gogo Monster, finally comes back, long out of print, with its second edition 
hardcover reprint. This Fantasy Seinen series is being put out by Viz Media, and of course it ran from November of 1998 to October of 2000 across five chapters. I do enjoy the subject matter, and I have to admit I've never read the original, so I'm eagerly anticipating the release of this book for my Matsumoto shelf slash collection. So there it is, folks, all the anticipated manga releases for June of 2024. Now, of course, there are other volumes that are coming out, which are part of other series that are ongoing, like Kowloon, Generic Romance, for example. But like I always say, I don't include those in here because the point is to highlight all the brand new stuff that's coming out, along with the uh, omnibus and reprint editions and stuff like that. But most importantly, what are you excited for? Let me know in the comment section down below and of course what else you're picking up that's not necessarily a volume one. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for all the likes, for commenting, for subscribing and being a part of Manga Geekdom. Truly do appreciate it. That's it for now. Thank you everybody once again. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.